It's very, very spiritual. It really means something. I think it makes you go inside a little bit more and most of our days are outside. We don't go inside and let our feelings come from the inside out. And that certainly made me do that today. Hi, my name is Chris LeMessure. I'm responsible for planning and design with the Grand Concourse Authority. And we've uh, had the pleasure of assisting the Barring Park Foundation and the City of St. John's in the development of our new labyrinth here in Barring Park. Simply put, a labyrinth is a unencumbered path uh, that spirals uh, from the outside inward to a center point. The idea is to take the journey and to, to contemplate uh, along the way. Hi, my name is Louise Hustons. I'm Susan Davis. Well, my sister passed away five days ago, and I felt as I was going around the labyrinth that I really could feel her in my heart. It was very meditative, and I did it in her memory and hope that she is finally at peace. Just does give you that time of peace and reflection, a chance to do that, whereas in the, the world is so um, active and boisterous and, and you, you really didn't have the time to reflect. And the labyrinth is a chance to do that. There's something about a labyrinth, it sort of takes you out of yourself when it gives you an awareness of the day. I was sick there in, in, in June and I had a, had a kidney cancer, I had a kidney removed. I'm a person now who lives every moment and every day at a time. I do feel, I honestly feel that some of the stresses of prior days and, and today, they, they sort of leave you because you just let it, take it out of your body sort of thing. I don't know, I don't know with mind over matter, I'm not really sure, you know. I just know it's a good experience and, and, and I enjoy it.